Hey everyone, I'm uh, north of Atlanta, Georgia tonight, and uh, tonight I have a Jones seasonal soda. Now you know Jones, they're going to uh, come out with all sorts of uh, interesting flavors around the different holidays, and uh, this one is interesting. They've, uh, they got two flavors out this year on Easter. One of them is not interesting at all, but it is a new, it is something different from them. Uh, it's a grape flavor, which is with Jones, you never know. It could be actual, it could be really good, and it could just be a plain chain, great soda, you know. But this one is pineapple cream. I cannot uh, remember ever seeing a pineapple cream soda. I've only seen pineapple. So this has already got me uh, really curious, and Jones does a really good job with their flavors and stuff like that anyway. Uh, they're first impressions of packaging, I mean, it's really hard for a man to go into the store and buy the, the great one, too. I mean, they're both, they both look like this. Uh, <laughs> um, there's also a story on it. Uh, right here. You have uh, bunnies and chicks, green plastic grass, and pastel colors everywhere you look. You gotta love spring. Soak in those first warm rays of sunshine and enjoy these limited edition seasonal flavors as we celebrate the reason together like, no, I'm sorry. I was like, whoa, there, there go, go John's kid. <laughs> Reason for the season, okay. But no, they didn't go there. Uh, these limited edition seasonal flavors as we celebrate the season together, like only Jones can, happy spring. So they're not even Easter sodas. They're spring sodas. So why did I save them for the week before Easter? <sighs> these companies, I'm so scared to say holiday names like Christmas and Easter. Whatever. So, you know, somebody's going to be offended somewhere. Company, just want to let you know. Uh, here's the ingredients. Carbonated water, inverted cane sugar, natural and artificial flavors, phosphoric acid, sodium benzoate, and potassium sorbate. And modified food starch, ester gum, yellow 5, yellow 6. It's basic Jones soda as far as the uh, ingredients goes. Nothing stands out there. They are made with cane sugar, which is really good. Resealable cap. Paper labels. Look at that. Paper labels bleed right through, ripping apart. I hate that. But anyway, if you've seen any of my videos, you probably know that by now. All right, not much fizz on it. Jones always has something under the cab. Good news is on the way. All right, good deal. I actually do smell a little bit of uh, both in there, pineapple and cream. Mostly pineapple, which I expected. I expected it to smell much different than pineapple soda. But it smells good. I like pineapple soda. So uh, my favorite one is a toss-up, really, between... Uh, actually, I haven't had the Haritos yet. I've got it on the way, but I haven't had it yet. But my favorite pineapple soda so far has got to be the uh, Mexican Fanta pineapple, which is made with real sugar also. This, I don't know. It's, gonna, it's not going to taste like it. It shouldn't taste like any of a cream in it, but we'll see. That's a really good flavor. Really unique. You have that uh, distinct pineapple soda taste. They, they never taste like real pineapple to me. Um, not, none of the fruits really ever do. There's very, very few exceptions where one of these, you know, colored... Um, dyed sodas actually taste like the actual flavor is supposed to taste like. Uh, Swamp Pop is one of them that did it for sure with Ponchatoula Pop Rouge. But other than that, you usually have to go with a really natural um, soda to get that flavor, like a main root or something like that. This one um, doesn't taste like a real pineapple, but it has that distinct uh, normal pineapple soda taste, but you do get the cream in there with That's not bad. That's not something I would get all the time because I just I don't I wouldn't get a pineapple soda all the time. But um, I could see having a few of these in your refrigerator. Um, I wouldn't go as far out as uh, as far as the rating goes. I wouldn't go as far out as say buy a pallet. But I could buy a pack of this. I could uh, I could see putting a few of these in my refrigerator, especially to let some friends try them out. It is different enough. 
from every other pineapple soda that you're going to want to at least try it. Uh, my rating would be buy a pack. The cream, the cream is uh, more of the aftertaste than anything else, but it's definitely there. And uh, you do notice it while the initial pineapple is uh, is uh, washing down also, but that's very good. Very good. I didn't expect that one to be bad. I expected that one to be pretty good and different. It's not a whole lot different. If you get it thinking that you're going to get something wildly different from any other pineapple real sugar soda that you've ever had, um, you're not. You're going to get basically the same thing, but it just has that little added element of cream into it, which a uh, little vanilla taste with the pineapple makes it pretty pretty good, pretty good soda. So buy a pack of that if you see it anywhere. Uh, World Market, I know for sure, has it right now. Um, if you like this video, follow me on Twitter at soda underscore hunter, facebook.com slash soda hunter Kevin. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment. And uh, be sure to follow uh, the Soda Jerks on Twitter at the Soda Jerks. And check out the website, thesodajerks.net, for hundreds more reviews. And until next time, happy hunting.